Obviously, Greg Hardy wanted to do this interview to try to show teams that he is a new man, that he has changed, and that he deserves yet another chance. Did this interview accomplish that goal? No, it, absolutely not. It, he, it could not have gone worse in every respect. I mean, the, the thing that struck me throughout was – is, there's actually something, I, I don't want to say mental issue, but there's something that there's a screw loose. There's many screws loose. I mean, this is someone who's just not dealing with reality. And honestly, if I'm a GM watching this interview, I, I'm thinking he borders, you know, beyond guilty to, to really dangerous. I would not bring him into any locker room. Okay, we've seen so many times in the past, though, that talent <clears throat> will trump any kind of risks or red flags that a player may have. Why would this case be different? I mean, first of all, this, this guy isn't good enough for Jerry Jones anymore. So, I mean, that's already saying something. So that's like the bottom of the barrel when it comes to, you know, a morality rating. Um, I, I think there's just too much of a stigma now. I mean, this is somebody that is universally thought of to be guilty. He was convicted in a court of law. He got out on technicality. This is not a person who has shown, you know, even, even Adrian Peterson, who blamed his Southern upbringing, he still showed remorse eventually. This person has not shown remorse for a horrific act that most people think occurred. So I think he's a very you know, special situation. If Greg Hardy is never signed by an NFL team again, if he indeed has played his last down in the NFL, what would that signify to you? I want to say that it signifies that there's been, you know, a turn in the mindset. I mean, in theory, I would love to say that, but I think this is a really special case. I think that if you are Adrian Peterson and you can just issue an apology, eventually you're brought back into the fold or you have, like Adrian, a, a certain talent level. I, I think this is just such a, an extreme case where this, this person is just so removed from the reality of a situation, has just failed on every level to, to rectify. I mean, he's had a second chance. I don't think he has a third, but I don't think that means that you know, others who commit acts in the future are given that second chance. Are there still questions that you would like answered by Greg Hardy that we didn't get in the interview? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there, he said so many things that I wish were, were followed up. I mean, namely, he, you know, he says something happened that night, right? He says, I didn't lay a hand on her. I don't, I've never laid a hand on a woman, something that I, I don't believe, but like what happened? Why wasn't that asked? Why, what happened that night if something happened? Um, he also, when, when Schefter asked him about the photos and he said, you know, you can do things to photos these days. So he's basically saying these, <laughs> these were photoshopped and I would have liked Schefter to jump in and say, really? Like <laughs> you really think these are photoshopped? Confirm that that's actually what he thinks. Mm. Um, th those are probably the, the two main things. Um, I would have liked him pressed a little bit more on, on you know, what his apology would be from sort of the personal standpoint. He kept kind of reverting back to this, I just want to set records. I want to let everyone who's watching this interview know that I'm a good football player and I want to set records. And that like wasn't the point of this whole thing.